Well, Rizman, the, the third event here in Miami, FlexCast Arena, I guess, talk to me about how you felt overall about uh, a, a bit of a crazy night. It ended kind of wild, but some great fights. How did you feel overall? Yeah, it was a crazy night, you know, starting from the very first fight. Uh, first fight was actually really good, you know. First fight. Sometimes you know fights that you don't even expect, you know, and you know you, you, you like overlooking. You know, the, those are the most exciting fights. But yeah, tonight was like a great fight, and uh, I mean, co-main and main event. You know, <laughs> no one knew that what's gonna happen. And uh, unfortunately, you know, Junior Junior looked incredible. He looked really good. You know, he was in shape. He breathed good, and he was moving like. Everything was good, but you know it happens. You know in this sport, he just injured his shoulder, shoulder popped out. Uh, I was just like with him and uh, back in the room. You know, doctor was able, you know, to put it back, and uh, we'll see. We'll see what's gonna happen next. You know, and how we're gonna like. Uh, but uh, for Jorgen, Jorgen, I think he's gonna fight. He have to fight for the title. You know, this is what he's been uh, promised by our founder Habib, and uh, uh, yeah, Jorgen is the ne next contender for the uh, heavyweight title. I love it. All right, listen, this, the grand is clearly growing, right? I mean, this, yeah. this, this organization is getting bigger. Talk to me about where you feel like you're at versus where you expected to be. Is it is it growing faster than you thought or, or is it more difficult than you thought? How's it been so far? You want me to uh, be honest, like from very first event that we did over here in January 28th, uh, it, was, it became over than expectation. You know, it became way over. You know, the numbers that it shows, like on the views, the numbers that we have on the subscribe, on the subscription. You know, is like crazy. It's so, like on the first show we have a half million. Like on the second show we have a half million left. Then like 1.2 on the uh, watches on the demand. Like a 10 plus millions on social media expression. You know, it was really good. I don't have the I don't have the numbers for this one yet, but uh, soon we're gonna like and. Uh, uh, I can tell you know that we had like a pretty good start. I know the numbers from the very beginning, but we're just waiting for the last data. And uh, I think uh, Junior and uh, Jorgen delivered it. And uh, the, the fight, you know, the Hector, I think everyone was excited to see Hector back. I don't know how about you, I was like super excited. Absolutely. Yeah, especially after his like great run in uh, no gloves and a bare knuckle. You know, it was, it was a cool fight. Yeah, it was. Uh, obviously, up to this point, it's been exclusive on the FlexCast app. Tonight, for the first time, you also streamed uh, on Combate in Brazil. Yeah. I'm just curious, is this something that you see you could do more of, or was this just kind of a one-time special thing? Like, do you see other partnerships, or is the idea just to really get people on, on FlexCast? Listen, I mean, we're trying things, right? Because, uh, I mean, that was a kind of strategic like decision, because we do not... Uh, Basically, we, we, we didn't do like much of the marketing. We didn't do much of the focus on the Brazilian market. And now we have one of the biggest start in Brazil. And uh, it's going to be kind of sad if we didn't. We didn't do much job, you know. We have to admit we didn't do much job on that region. And uh, this is why we try, hey, why don't we try, you know, like go one fight in the broadcasting with the Brazilian biggest TV. We made a deal with the global TV, you know, they, they stream right now every broadcasting on the uh, combat. And uh, we'll see how it goes, you know, on the Monday. We... Uh, uh, gonna circle back with them to see what the numbers was. Uh, that was a one fight. That was a one fight deal. So uh, we're trying, we're testing, and um, I think uh, you guys are gonna hear out something pretty soon. Well, so would you test other markets as well if it made sense? Like you got a star from another nation, would you maybe test that out as well? Uh, why not? Why not? I'm, I mean, obviously, Brazil is the one of the biggest market, or, or one of the biggest market for the MMA uh, industry, and uh, it would be not the smart move, you know, just not to make a, not, not, not to make like, not, not to look in, you know, in the direction of the Brazil. So uh, I think the uh, South America. North America, we, we got pre, we, very good numbers in the North America, in the USA, in Canada. Uh, we have to more focus on the Mexican side, on the South, uh, South America, and uh, we're looking to expansion on the Asia as well. Very nice. Uh, unique situation tonight with Islam Mamadov, right? He's under contract yeah. with Bellator. He fights here. Bellator's tweeting about yeah. the show and that sort of thing. I guess, do you see this as part of Eagle FC's operations? Like, hey, we can be friendly yeah. with other organizations. It doesn't have to be all competition. Listen, I think uh, I mentioned a couple times with the, in the different interviews. From very first day, you know, in this in this company, we have a different tone. You know, we're not trying to compete with someone. We're not trying to be number one, number two, number three, or something. It, like, when you like set up this kind of uh, mentality you know it, it never ends up good uh, we're just focusing on delivering like uh, on, on, on doing like a quality fights bringing the best talents like uh, veterans 
upcoming fighters, scouting the new talents uh, around the world, and just like focus to deliver the greatest fights, the, the great content, uh, the, 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 the quality. We're working on the quality. And if someone want to like to put the numbers against the <laughs> promotion, they're welcome too. But uh, yeah, uh, but with Bellator, I think what we're looking right now, what we're witnessing right now, it's the uh, beginning of the uh, very great and uh, possibly fruitful par partnership in oh, the future. I like it. Uh, speaking of bringing in veterans, Tiago Alves was around. He said, hey, I kind of like it here. Yeah, Maybe yeah. I can fight here. Yeah, yeah. He said it was a business trip. He was having a talk. Any, any discussions that you can reveal or is this still yeah, a we, early? We, we had some conversation, you know, back in the room uh, yesterday on the way in. I think uh, we can do something very fun and interesting with him uh, in the next few months. Uh, but we still have to work on it. Fair enough. Habib mentioned a little bit earlier, he said July looks like the next event. Um, can you tell us any details about what you're, you're looking to do in July? Uh, yeah, we set up the date on the July 29th. Yeah, July 29th, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, we have a pretty good line of the fighters that are going to be participating. I know for sure, like, um, from a top of the head, you know, Erwin Rivera going to be, Ray Borg going to be there, uh, Cody Gibson, uh, Ricky. It, it's it's kind of going to be, we're, we're going to have a clash of uh, bantamweight fighters, like a great, great athletes. We have a new signing, like, uh, we, we signed, like, uh, a, a former belt or champion, Dudu Santos. Uh, we're working right now. We're going to announce soon uh, on signing another couple of good bantamweights. So uh, we have uh, these guys. They are super excited guys. So we're looking kind of like make a bantamweight clash on the July 29th and still working on the main and co-main event. Very we have cool. some great ideas. Awesome. Last thing I'll ask you is just yeah. give us the, the, the outlook for the rest of this year. I mean, I know, again, this is a very early, you know, growing brand. But, you know, are you hoping to do a number of shows or what, what's the plan for the rest of the year? Uh, yeah, honestly, the plans is like huge. <laughs> it's very big, and uh, we're looking uh, uh, by the end of this year to conduct another seven, seven to eight show here in Miami. Uh, we just have to, you know, because we're still a young and fresh and new promotion. You know, we just uh, we, we we haven't even like uh, complete, you know, to formating our team. We just hiring the people, you know see how we also hiring people, hiring the, uh, looking for the partners. And uh, I think it's going to take another couple months before we're just going to put like a very hard calendar for the next year, year and a half. And this is where we can actually schedule like all the events here in the United States and uh, across the ocean too in Europe or any other like regions. Person. All right, well, we're looking okay. forward to it. How's it feel being out front, man? You were behind the scenes. I was so always, years. yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was, uh, listen, it's like I, I walk out of the, my comfort zone, right? <laughs> you know, I'm like, I, I, I like to do the things in the, behind the closed, closed doors and be in the back all the time. But now, I mean, this is what we, you know, this is what we love. We, we do what we love. We're passionate about the MMA. We're passionate about the sports, you know. And uh, when you see the opportunities, when you see the de market, demand on the markets, you know, this is where someone have to step in, you know, and to do it, to, de to, to deliver. And I think fans are happy. As long as fans are happy, you know, and uh, our business is sustainable, why not?